Today we're going to talk about the QB4 KNMER1813 skull. Now this is the skull of a Homo habilis female. Um, it was found in 1973 at QB4, which is a ridge on the eastern side of Lake Turkana in uh, Kenya by Kamoya Kamu, who'd worked with the Leakies. Now the QB4 site uh, was excavated from 1968 by a team led by Richard Leakey and Kamoya Kamu. The site um, was quite important. Um, it, when it was investigated uh, the people found 11 examples of Australopithecus anamensis, 5 examples of Paranthropus boise, 5 examples of Homo habilis, 7 examples of Homo rudolfensis, and seven examples of Homo agaster. The KNM ER1813 skull was from an adult female Homo habilis and is one of the uh, best preserved skulls of this early hominin. The skull itself is from an adult female Homo habilis. Uh, the cranial capacity is 510 cubic centimeters, so this is smaller than the Homo erectus georgicus um, um, skulls that were found in Dimanissi in Georgia. Uh, the, face, the face is fairly flat but has a slightly projecting jaw. Um, the skull has a sloping forehead and small cranium. There are brow ridges um, present too. The teeth of the skull are relatively large um, for such a small um, specimen. The skull itself is um, quite small and Homo habilis um, only grew to heights of between three and a half to four and a half feet so was smaller than the Homo erectus um, in general. The KNM ER 1813 skull may date back to 1.9 million years ago and um, it's, it was determined that it was from an adult um, had an adult female as the third molars had fully emerged and had shown signs of wear. Homo habilis um, existed from about 2.4 million years ago to about 1.6 million years ago. They're the first or one of the first hominins um, to be assigned to the genus Homo. Uh, their remains have been found at Olduvai in Tanzania, at Kubifora in Kenya, at Omo and Hadar in Ethiopia and Sturk Fontaine in South Africa. So all the Homo habilis remains are from Africa and as such it sort of uh, indicates that the early Homo genus um, originated in Africa. Now Homo habilis uh, remains have been found in association with Alduan stone tools. These are flaked stones used to butcher animal and skin um, and well butcher animals and skin animal carcasses as well. The term Homo habilis, uh, habilis means handyman. Um, habilis um, bodies, uh, their sizes uh, may have been quite small, smaller than Homo erectus, ranging from about three foot three inches to about four foot five inches in height. Now it's possible that Homo habilis uh, led to Homo ergaster and Homo erectus. So Homo habilis may well have been uh, one of our earliest um, hominin ancestors. Facial reconstructions uh, show that Homo habilis had smaller craniums um, when compared to examples of Homo erectus. The Homo erectus georgicus uh, skulls from Dimanissi range from about 550 cubic centimetres to 650 cubic centimetres or so. Um, Homo habilis uh, were probably one of the, the earliest ancestor, uh, ancestors that we've had and it could well be that they um, used the stone tools to both butcher um, carcasses of animals that they found and also to break open bones to get bone marrow from the bones as well. It could well be that by getting bone marrow from the bones that helped them to get a better diet and started the process of um, enabling the 
genus Homo to have larger brains and get a better quality of food so that their jaws could become smaller. The Homo habilis were small in stature and uh, had relatively small craniums as well, but uh, after Homo habilis, the subsequent hominins that came later um, would have smaller jaws and larger brains.